If this isn't an omen for 2023, I'm struggling to find a deeper meaning. Hey, what's up? Hello, it's Katie Colson here. Welcome to, or welcome back to my channel. And we're here to do one of my favorite videos and that is setting up my 2023 reading journal. Now, before we get into it, I need to show you something. All right, I think you saw it in the intro, but I'm... I had this for two weeks. I had done so much work on this, so much work for not, for not. It broke, the spine broke. I don't know how that happened. I don't know why, um, but I contacted Archer and Olive and they sent me another one, but this is so sad. But this is the new beauty. Look at her, isn't she precious? So I ordered some stickers on Redbubble. This was a sticker from the last journal. And then, well, I think this one. I think both of these ones were stickers from the old one. And then I put some on the back, isn't it cute? I'm acting like I'm not about to show you me doing this. So let's get to creating. Hey, it's the disembodied voice of Katie or voice over Katie here to talk about my 2023 reading journal. Now I will tell you, we're gonna do a flip through of this, but I did do a lot of footage of me setting up this journal and to give you a better idea of how to go about setting it up. But that footage ended up being an hour and 45 minutes long. And while I know a lot of you would love that, I'm not gonna put everybody through that. So that footage is going to be available on Patreon. And on this, I ended up putting a lot of Redbubble stickers in which I just adore. Obviously, I have my favorite quote from Sappho, which is slender Aphrodite has overcome me with longing for a girl. Love that. And then a little Heather's musical moment. And I'm the beast I worship. I wanna get that tattooed so bad. I love it. So good. And then we have a little Tomi by Anjanji Itu homage, a little stack of Stephen King books, Matilda, which is my favorite child's book, and then My Diabetes is Chronic, but this ass is iconic. Because are you kidding me? That is absolutely hilarious. Like, I loved it. And it's a peach. Love it. I live in Georgia. Now, this first spread, I left very monochromatic and minimalistic as per Grace, my best friend's uh, opinion, which I thought actually ended up being perfect. So on the left side, I have my dot grid spacing bookmark. And this is the first year I've done this. I usually do a page for this, but this is so much better because you can take it out of the journal, move it to a page wherever you are, and you don't have to count the number of spaces. You can just go, listen, here, I need to cut the book in half or the page in half. And then, oh, I need to cut it in this way in half. And you don't have to count anything. You can just put the journal spread there and go, boom, cutting in half, cutting in thirds, fourths, fifths, whatever you need, and then stick it right back in the pocket. And it's useful for you at any time. This is, I highly recommend doing this. It looks just so, so helpful. And then this spread, the left side is actually very much inspired by Jordaline Reads, who her journal is stunning. It's stunning. And I honestly, after I saw her created reading journal, I was like, I'm never going to create one again. She did everything I could possibly ever want and more. And then on the right side, I have my 2023 goals. Now you can tell they're not all filled out because thinking about the future is scary to me. But basically when I reach one of these goals, I want to print out a photo like maybe of me cheersing if I hit one of these goals and then put that photo inside the Polaroid. Thought that would be really cute. And then this is my yearly growth. So at the left side, it's the start of the year. Now, because I'm going through so many skin problems and health problems, I did not post a photo from December, but these are photos from October and January that are just standing in spot for December. And then I had throughout this beginning posted a lot of dedications from books that I thought really stunning, like dedication to the strongest person I know, me. And then to anyone fighting an invisible battle, I see you because diabetes is fucking hard and people do not understand that. And then this is kind of a barn door Dutch store moment. I don't know what you would necessarily call that, but it's basically to keep track of the stats from YouTube, Patreon, Instagram, Goodreads, things like that, just to basically tell myself like, okay, this is how I started the year at, this is where I ended January at, this is where I ended February, to see what months of the year were really popping off for me, what was really good, and then why maybe that ended up being, just to kind of categorize for myself what happened. And then in Goodreads, we have friends and followers. I don't really know why we do that, but I did it because they do. This side is my year at a glance for my calendar spreads. This was another thing that was suggested by Grace because I had an idea to do a lot more on this page. And she was like, no, keep it slim, keep it simple. And it ended up looking so good. And I drew those letters. That is not a, that's not a sticker. 
Can you believe that? Okay, so basically I have, oh, oh, we have my niece Elena's birthday on January at Capricorn Queen. And I need y'all to know that I can't believe I forgot to put Gabby's birthday on there, but absolute Capricorn Queen, an amazing human being. So I needed to show you that I rectified that. But any birthdays I put on there, and then also this is to keep track of videos I need to come out with or that I'm hoping to come out with. And then if anything is a sponsor that I absolutely have to dedicate time for, this is where I'm gonna keep track of all of those things. Not things like, my job or anything like that. This is basically just birthdays and YouTube content. So on here, I do have uh, Noelle is a Pisces. I remember that. So I have her birthday on there. And basically like, there's a lot of birthdays I know that I need to put on there. Like, oh my God, Kayla. Okay. Yes. Love her. Had to put her birthday on there. There's a lot more birthdays I know I need to get and put on here, but these are the ones that I have remembered from the last couple of years. And then Gavin, a Taurus king a Taurus King. Okay. If you don't follow him, uh, what's your problem? Like literally what is your problem? Okay. June, my mom and I are both Gemini's. So we are both in this month. Mm. I don't, I, I feel like I might do a pattern on some of these, but I'm not totally sure. July is so busy. Okay. July 6th. Are you kidding me? It's Grace's birthday, Olivia's birthday, and it's my booktube anniversary. That's a busy day. Okay, and then we have Jordaline, another Cancer Queen, who is in July. So that's a busy month. A lot of friends' birthdays, a lot of monumental moments. And then in August, I know we have a Virgo, Mayana, exactly. I was like, I know I have a Virgo Queen. Okay, Mayana, which she's a Virgo, 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 which is insane to me. So is my dad. And then in September, we have Aaron and my dad, also Virgo kings and queens like obsessed with them and then in october i have my brother's birthday he's a libra so i need to keep track of that because i easily forget those kind of things and then in november my uncle john he's a thanksgiving turkey baby so have him on there and then in december i have my grandmother and my sister-in-law who are both sagittarius queens love that so oh no no she's a sagittarius and then my uh, sister-in-law is a capricorn sorry that was confusing. Okay. Now this page, I didn't really have like a purpose for, but I wanted to fill out in some cute way. So I have a little book dedication that I really loved. And then just some really cute little Pinteresty photos of reading that I thought was really cute. And this basically is to dedicate to saying we're moving into the book part of this journal. We're moving into the book stats, not just YouTube stats. So yes, we have my year at a glance. You can see that it all flips through and that there's very easy ways to flip to each month, which I really enjoy. And this is the first time I've ever done that. Now my first spread is going to be my books read in the year. Now this, this looks as, as least amount of chaotic as I could possibly make it. Now, do I hope that I read 306 books, books in this year? No, I hope I do not do that because I read almost 300 books in 2022 and it was too much. It was too much, too much to remember, too much to keep track of. So I hope I don't, but in case I do, the number's there. Now, what I'm gonna do is just fill in the color, probably silver for each book I read just to keep track of it in a really simple way. This spread I've done every single year and it's always held true, but every year I have a different genre that ends up being the most read genre because I go through phases. Now, of course, mystery, thriller, horror, manga, and fantasy. I already know I'm gonna read a lot of those. So I put double the amount of spaces, like two columns of that or two rows. Can't remember which one because I know I'm gonna read more than one column, but romance, I mean, romance is questionable, but nonfiction, sci-fi, historical fiction, I know I'm not gonna read that many, but I still like seeing what was predominantly read in that year. So I really like looking at that. Other, I mean, there's a lot of things that could fit into that. Not really sure. I feel like every year I say that and then it ends up being apparent based on what Goodreads makes certain things. I don't know. Maybe like, I was about to say poetry, but I don't read poetry. And then this looks stunning. Okay, so this is my monthly highlights. So every month of the year, I'm gonna post or post, I'm gonna put my favorite book of that month for each month. Now, I don't know what the dimensions of these squares are. I made it, thought it looked good, and then didn't think about that I was gonna have to keep track of specifically having certain dimensions for each book. I want there to be an outline of this dark gray because I think that would look really good. How am I gonna make that happen? I mean, stay tuned. Who knows? Am I gonna be able to do it? Probably not, but we'll see. And then I have a 
multiple page spread for the Smut Salon, which is my Patreon book club based on Bunny, obviously. Now, what I'd started doing toward the second half of 2022 is doing a Darlings uh, book club, which was for all the bunnies, and then doing a Duchess book club, which was exclusively for the duchesses. So on here, basically I have the ratings for me and the ratings for the bunnies are the ratings for the duchesses because I post a poll on, oh, one star to five star or DNF. And then cumulatively what all the bunnies or duchesses have rated it, I will put that star rating because I think it's really interesting how my rating will change based on our discussion or how their rating will change based on my discussion. And I think that's really cool. And I really like this spread. The crinkly brown paper was another thing that I learned from Jordan Line, and I think it looks so good and so cute. Now, I'm not gonna write anything next to these because I think it'll get too chaotic, but I am gonna put the book covers of each of the month's book picks on here. And I think it'll be like simplistic and chaotic enough just for that chaotic energy. Now this right side of the page, I don't know why I put, I don't know what that's for. What am I gonna put there? I, 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 I honestly have no idea. We'll figure something out, but we made the choice and now we're stuck with it. 23 books in 2023. These are my 23 most anticipated releases of 2023. And I have the date in which they are set to release. Now, some of them might change. They probably will. A lot of times publishers will push back or push up book releases. So we're just hoping. This one is because I had posted a little, little photo of Heartstopper Volume 5, but it doesn't have a cover yet. So I took it off. And then The Whispers and Thorn Hedge and The Thursday Murder Club Volume 4, they don't have covers yet, but I know they will. And I am knocking on wood. They will come out in 2023. But when I read these, I am going to just put a little marker for what I rated them. And then that there that I'm pointing at, that is because that would have been 24 books. And I didn't realize that when I was putting those blackout marks. So disregard that. It's 23 books in 2023. Oh, this here is my leftover audios and physical books for 2022. And I realize now that I wrote 2023 leftover, which was a boo-boo. That was a boo-boo. So you're just going to have to disregard that. Also, so let's talk about a boo-boo that I, I painted or whatever the shelves before I put the books on. So now they're like hovering behind the shelves. Listen, it still looks good from afar, and that's all we're looking for. So these are all the audiobooks and the physical books that I have left over that I bought or received in 2021 or 2022, and I'm looking to quell that number down to 85%. Like, I want to get through 85% of both these audios and this 2022 physical TBR. Is it possible? I don't know. And also here, I put like TPN for The Promised Neverland or like CM for Chainsaw Man because, or JJK for Jujutsu Kaisen because those names are just too long. So if you're wondering what those stand for, that's what that is. Can I read 20 volumes of The Promised Neverland in 2022? Um, maybe. We will see. Okay, that's what we're hoping for. And then this is going to be my January spread. I don't know what I'm gonna do for my January spread. I feel like I change the way that I catalog books every year. I don't know. And then in the back, I have my passwords. And it, recently, I have been doing it in the front, but that was just too much for when I tried to do a flip, for, flip through because I don't want y'all knowing, you know, my entire social media identity. So this is where... Nobody can be expected to remember their passwords. Like literally no one can be expected to do that. So this is where I put my usernames and the platform in which they are on the left and then my password on the right because I will forget and there are some platforms that need like, oh my God, they need an uppercase and they need like uh, a, a figure that's not a number or a letter and it's annoying. But I did like, I mixed black acrylic paint with water and tried to do a watercolor effect. And I actually really like the way it turned out. It's kind of crinkly and like thick pages. And I really like it. Now, of course, nobody's really going to see this after I fill out the passwords, but I like it. I think it's cute. So this is like a back of journal, little spread, more like lifestyle part. And then this is also lifestyle. This is my grow through what you go through kind of habit tracker. It's like a mental health habit tracker. So if you're looking for a habit tracker of any kind, this might be a good method for you. So this is basically where I put one through 31 of those little squares. And then I blacked out the squares that are not months in that year, because of course, February doesn't have 31 days in the month. And I didn't want to get confused. And then I had the months at the top. And then 
Basically, for whatever you want to do as a habit tracker, if you complete it on that day, you can fill it in with whatever color you want. And at the end of the year, you can look back and see how well you did with whatever it is you're trying to keep track of. I think that's a really amazing idea. And I've been doing it for a couple of years now and I really enjoy it. This back part, I've been traditionally, in the last two years, I've been using this little pocket to keep track of my absolute favorite letters that I'm sent to my PO box from the bunnies or from subscribers. And that's been going really amazing because I know they're there and I can pull them out and read them whenever I want. And then this is showing you how much of the journal I still have to go to use as my month to month reading journal. And that may not look like a lot, but it is. Because once you paint these pages black, once you do anything, it sticks out so much. So those pages honestly are so much to use. And I am so excited to start using this reading journal. It looks so good. Like I know that I say this every year, but this is the best my reading journal has ever looked. It looks absolutely stunning. Okay, so thank you all so much for watching this and we are gonna head out to regularly programmed Katie. Do you love it? Do you love it? If you don't love it, I can't hear you and I won't respond to you. I'm blind all of a sudden and deaf and dumb and I don't know what you're saying because I'm obsessed and I think it looks great. If you've gotten this far into the video, leave the lips emoji because I said the peach for the last one. So leave the lips emoji if you've gotten this far and let me know if you have a reading journal, if there's any specific stats that you do in your reading journal that you do every year that you really love. I would love to see that because I love getting ideas and inspiration. And if you've gotten this far and you want to follow me on Patreon, on Discord, on Instagram, on Goodreads, on anything, they are gonna be linked down below as well as a myriad of other links that help support this channel in many various ways. And I hope that all of you are having an amazing day, evening, night, dusk, dawn, whatever it is you're having and whatever part of the world you are currently having it in. And I'm hoping the absolute best for you in 2023. And I hope that you continue this journey with me. All of that to say, I will see you in a video coming very soon. Bye.